Chelsea. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. Hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed week. Okay? Happy New Year, y'all. We made it. We made it. <laughs> May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What do they need to know to wrap up 2023? Please and thank you. What do they need to know to wrap up this year? 2023. Escape it. Okay, you guys, listen. 32 breaking down to a five. It's time to come back home to you. This is you literally moving away from vices. Moving away from like addictive things, moving away from my mindset, a way of being, people, you know, uh, connections, relationships, whatever it is that could have had you like held up, not wanting to embrace your authentic energy. It's time to move away from that. 2024 is all about literally you coming back home to you, you understanding that you are a powerhouse, you understand how loved you are. Okay, there's no need for you to escape yourself. There's no need for you to like escape different, you know, facets about you because you are uniquely created in God's image. You could be realizing this and this is what's going to help you bring about a lot of changes, positive changes into your life. 32 breaking down to a five is all about changes. Someone here could be 32 years old or the number 32 could be significant. Yeah, look at this. This is a mirror effect. It's time for you to dance. It's also you treating yourself, treating your body like the palace that it truly is. You are truly royalty. It's time for you to embrace how you look. It's time for you to embrace your feelings. It's time for you to embrace your authentic energy. You are created in God's image. I keep hearing that. The number four could be significant as well. It's time to dance. It's time to move. Dancing also shakes off any type of negative energy. So this these next um, few hours, this next um, day, whenever you are seeing this, you guys could be dancing really in a powerful energy, really in a positive aura. It's like your spirit guides can even be telling you it's time to move around. It's time to get active. It's time to sing. It's time to dance. You have to, it's time to understand who you truly are. It's something about you guys having to get up. It's something about you guys like um, really shaking up. You could even be doing yoga or working out, sweating. I'm hearing like it's, it's something about your workout where you are cleansing your energy, but you are truly divine. This person is dancing on water. I just like it. I just saw that. Woo! Woo! And I'm looking at the light shining on their heart. Oh my gosh! I don't know if y'all could see how the light. It's like literally, it's like a beam of light straight into this person's chest. Yeah, I'm speaking to somebody. You walk with Jesus. I'm only saying this because this person is dancing on water. You could be very, very, very religious or really like spiritually gifted. And it's, it's going to show itself. You could even be like, that's another thing. Don't. Okay, I'm picking up on an energy where you guys could have been trying to hide different parts of yourself because you didn't want to feel accepted. Your, your angels and your ancestors are saying the right people are going to accept you for exactly how you are. I keep seeing a palace. You're getting ready to move. You could live in a big home. You're getting ready to expand your home. Something about you living in a castle. You living in a mansion. You living in a palace. You could be even manifesting this at this time. This person is drawing this, but in this picture, they have it. So something that you may want that has to do with your foundation, your security, your home, you're manifesting now, present day, it's going to come towards you. You're going to be able to create it. You're going to be able to get it. You're going to be approved for it. Whatever it is that you are wanting. You could also have a pet. You could have a cat. Someone here could be very creative. You may like to draw. You could also like art. You could be an entertainer. I'm picking up on someone that is multifaceted. Not only can you dance or sing, you can also like draw. You could also create things with your hands. 
okay? It's like you have a very colorful aura as well. It's a lot of um, emotions. It's a lot of feelings that come towards you. People pick up on different energy around you, but it's all colorful. It's like colorful energy. Look at all the colors. So it's like you you give off a very like youthful, friendly, happy, go lucky energy. This is also you making yourself your own first priority, literally. You putting yourself first. You focusing on your own energy. You focusing on your health. You focusing on what matters to you is pushing you forward. I'm seeing here as well. But this is beautiful energy. The dancing. This is beautiful energy. Anything else? Yes, yeah, I cut the deck. This is mood. Your ambition is going to take you far. Okay, Dreezy could be significant as well. You may listen to Dreezy or Jacquees. Anything else that Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces need to know? Yeah, your verse. I can't make it up. There's so many. You are literally multifaceted. Like, you are talented in a lot of different ways. Like, somebody could be saying you're only gifted in this. The hell with them. Because you're not. You're gifted in a lot of different ways. Like, Father God has made you extremely, woo, divine. Versatility. Okay? Literally. Like, you, you could do different things. You're able to create different things. You hold power. Like, you hold weight in the spiritual realm. It's time for you to understand this. Yeah, and you're also extremely passionate. SZA, I believe she's a Scorpio. You have, someone here could be speaking to, well, you are a water sign. So this is for all the water signs. So this is definitely Scorpio energy. Oh my goodness. And look what's sticking out. Your passion. It's something about you and really embracing your passion because literally it's showcasing your skills and it's showcasing how you love, okay? Literally, you're getting ready to do things that you are passionate about, that you truly love. That's the embodiment of love and it's going to showcase your skills, okay? Father God is saying it's time for you to stop being scary, Stop being scared of what he told you to do or how he made you to be. It's time for you to embrace it. God is love. That's the strongest vibration. You're getting ready to do things that people are going to see. Like you are very skilled at and it has to do with your love, the way you love, how you love is connected to your heart space. And anything that's connected to your heart space, it, it, that's the strongest vibration. If you're, doing a, if you're doing a job, if you're in a career and you truly love to do it, guess what? You're going to truly make the money that you want to make, that you want to manifest, that you love, that Father God knows is going to bring you that fulfillment because you're in purpose. When you are walking in purpose, when you are walking in your calling, and especially when you are vibing out of the energy of pure love, okay, there's nothing, you're unstoppable, literally. You may listen to Beyonce. This is also MC Light here and SZA. Virgo energy is here as well as Scorpio. I don't know what MC Light is, like what her, what her zodiac sign is. I'm also speaking to somebody that is really good at like math. Okay, you could be saving more or you're just, you're a brainiac. Like you're really, really good at math and you also have like receipts. You could be the type of person that like will say something, but then you have the receipts to back it up. Like she, it looks like this person that said something and now she's showing like, yeah, look, like. It's something about you. You have the proof. You have the receipts to back something up. I'm seeing here. And it's like with that love energy, like that's the strongest vibration and you're embodying it. Please do not change. You especially don't change the way you love your heart space. Literally. Anything else that the water signs need to know? This one is shuffle. Ooh. Anything else that the water signs? To know to wrap up 2023, you are pure magic. Literally, it's something about the, and this is pure water energy, too. Perfect for the water signs. You could be taking a spiritual bath, okay? Or this is a rebirth energy. You are becoming more renewed in you and your own energy and your own aura. This is cleansing energy overcoming, like over, over you. The number 18 could be significant, breaking down to a nine. Okay, it's a wrapping of a cycle because you're getting ready to, to reach massive peaks, massive heights, things that you could have never even imagined. It's getting ready to come towards you, and it's an overflow. This is something that's not going to stop. It's going to be consistent in your life. Look at the rainbow. There's something that you are doing that is it's not meant to stop. 
whatever it is, whether it's your money flow, whether it's a career, whether it's the way you love, something is not meant to stop. It's meant to continue. It's meant to keep going. You're going to be seeing this as well with the number 18. You are pure magic. You hold magic. Like you, you're the embodiment of not only love, but it's like, ooh, true cleansing energy, a true divine energy. What is this? Your dreams, are, get ready for your dreams to come true. What a sign. Get ready for the field. Get ready. Anything that you are manifesting, anything that you are wanting at this time is yours for the grabbing. It's yours. I'm hearing that song. What is that song by Ariana? Y'all may need to listen to it. I want it. I like it. I got it. I want it. Like, I don't know. That's a real manifestation song, but you're living the life. Like, you're, you're living that type of life where it's something that you want. If it's something that you want to get, you are able to attain it. You're able to get it. It's time for you to see that. Yeah. Who else got this energy? I can't remember. Repeat, please. You could have been in a period of stagnation where things were like slow down. Things could have been at a halt. Okay, this is also you not working out of pride and ego. Be very mindful of that. But I see things are happening in the wintertime because this is snow energy. When you receive these blessings, it's something about you remaining humble. Don't get into the energy of becoming too prideful or egotistical. or, or It's, it's like you're going to be able to toot your own horn. Okay, I, I hear that. But it's something about like, To your own horn, but don't become like a jerk with it. Like, don't. <laughs> People are already going to see how blessed and highly favored you are, okay? Because of the manifestations that are meant to come in during this time. Something could have happened between the 21st and the 26th. Someone could be 21, 26. These dates could be significant as well as the number four. The number eight is, is here. That's all about abundance and wealth. That's the infinity symbol. That's divinity. You are truly divine. Things are everlasting for you. Okay. Also 21 breaking down to a three. You have a lot of partnerships that are coming in, a lot of collaborations, and it has to do with your money. This even could have been like people trying to affect you or cause stagnation to your money. That's not going to happen. You, you're getting ready to receive whatever blessings, whatever, whatever manifestations, whatever prayers you have been wanting. It's getting ready to come towards you. It's your time to receive it. It's your time to receive it. Let's see. Anything else? Any time for the water signs with the field of dreams. You can be meeting like two, up to like two to three different people that are also like uh, aligned with you. Yeah, I'm speaking to someone here that it's like you're going to be meeting people that are just as like evolved as you are with 21. And all these people like it seems like the people around you have been like waiting waiting for a change waiting to see this like something about waiting waiting for your dream like you're going to be meeting people that are in the same like expecting energy they're expecting good to happen to them they're expecting blessings to come towards them you could be meeting up to two to three different people yeah look at you you are the star and you are truly like protected with the seven of wands you're protecting your manifestations that are meant to come in during this time. This is a beautiful energy. Your manifestations, your prayers are also ooh, you're, are also protected. Yeah, it's a new start coming. Look at the fool. It's a brand new beginning for you. Okay, and it has to do with you loving yourself immensely. The Ace of Cups is a mass amount of love. This is like you literally pouring love over you, an overflow of love in your life. This is also love in the most purest sense. This is Father God gifting you love because you are the embodiment of love. So it's like, of course, you're meant to have love in your life. You could be seeing this as well. Okay, you have a true connection to the divine and that's what's getting ready to be shown or that's what you could be realizing about yourself. This is a new beginning for you. There is something that you have been waiting on. There is something that you have been wanting and it's coming. It's coming in the form of a new beginning. It is time for it. Literally, this is also you being like spontaneous, you you being a go-getter, you having like true divine faith, not only just believing in yourself, but believing in Father God that you can live a, a type of life that you want, that you can receive your divine blessings, that you are that you are truly um, worthy of, of pure, real, unconditional love. Okay, that's what's getting ready to come towards you. 
This is you having like the faith, you having the potential, you having the courage, and not only, not only that, having the, the the strength, the fearlessness to take action, to embrace a new beginning, to embrace a leap of faith. Okay, the fool is all about new start. Okay, but it takes you taking the necessary steps to embrace it for it to happen to get that bowl rolling. I'm seeing here with the Ace of Cups being here. This is your energy. Capricorn is also here. Aquarius. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Ace of Cups. This is getting ready to come towards you. This is also you getting ready to have a renewed sense in love. You could be getting ready to like have a renewal with your partner. You could be needing new love or this is just this coming towards you. You could definitely be needing someone new with the Ace of Cups and the love is going to be overflow. Okay, if this isn't someone new that you're going to be meeting, then there's definitely someone of like the opposite sex that wants you. Okay, somebody here wants you and they see you that you are like you are embodiment of love. You could also be someone that is like really like abstract in different ways, even mysterious. Like people can't really put their finger on the type of energy that you embody. That's because you are you, you're covered. You're covered by the Holy Spirit. Literally, wow. A magician, the world, and the eight of wands. This is forward movement. Things are happening. Very, very quickly for you. You hear me? Eight of Wands is rapid forward movement, rapid information, rapid downloads, rapid changes. A lot of things are happening for you at a very rapid, rapid, rapid rate. Literally. You could be doing things, but like you could be getting the nudge to take action, do certain things. This is direct communication coming in. You could have different people that could be wanting to talk to you. You're also coming across as very direct, very honest. You're getting downloads from up above. You could be getting, you could be having like vivid dreams at this time. You're picking up on visions, premonitions, a lot of communication. Eight of Wands signify communication, forward movement. With the world card, you have completed something. Congratulations, water signs. It's time for achievement. The world is like, okay, I'm done with a certain chapter. I'm done with the cycle. I'm done with a lesson. I have learned it. I have completed it. I don't want to keep repeating the same thing. So I want something better. I want something new. This is what you're going to be embracing at this time. Success is yours. It's time for you to embrace the possibilities that Father God is bringing towards you. This is your energy with the world card. Literally, Scorpio energy is here as well as um, Taurus, Sagittarius. An Aquarius, okay? Virgo energy is here. Gemini is here. Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands. And the Fool is Aquarius energy. This is all beautiful energy. Out of four cards, you guys have, I'm sorry, out of, out of, yeah, out of four cards, you have three major arcanas. You have the magician. This is like you having all the tools that you need to create the life that you want for yourself. Whatever you want, however you want to do it, it's like Father God has given you the tools. You have the wands. Okay, it's like it's time to create, it's time to manifest. It's you how you hold the power. You also have the cup. This is love, this is empathy, this is kindness, this is grace, this is what you hold within you to be able to manifest what actually aligns with you. You got the pentacle, your money is solid, you're secure, you're stable, it's growing. Okay, whatever you want, you could be manifesting wealth, manifesting, you know, stability, security, someone that's just as loyal and faithful like you. The pentacles about solid, solid grounding energy, things that are tangible, material gains, wealth. This could also signify someone that's being very, someone is grounded, someone's very secure, they're solid, they're stable, okay? You guys have all of the tools that you need to create the life that you want for yourself. It's just about you believing it, okay? And lastly, the sword. That's about the truth. You are in your authentic energy. You are embodying truth. You're embodying your authentic energy. And that's why you're receiving these divine blessings. Okay, the magician, you are truly creative at this time. It's time for you to tap back into your imaginative state. I'm speaking to someone there. It's like what you think, it, it happens. You're able to, to manifest out of thin air. You're able to manifest out of thoughts. It's like you see the vision in your mind or Father God implants the vision in your mind and you're able to see it and take action on it. You're able to like say, okay, how am I going to get, how am I going to create this in my actual world? Because if you could see it, guess what? You can actually achieve it. You can actually have it. I'm also hearing, um, I believe it was Steve Harvey that said this. He was like, you know, when you go to the movies and you see like the blue, not that the bloopers, but like the, um, a trailer of like what, you know, is, is coming in the movie, that's what's happening with you. It's like, you know, you're guaranteed that the trailer is going to come out. You know, it's guaranteed that the trailer like it is, you know, for a movie. 
okay, for a new movie that may not have, like, debuted yet, but it's coming. It's something like that as well. You guys are picking up on visions on things that may not have manifested yet, but they are going to manifest. The magician is all about manifestation, literally. You guys have the skills. You guys have the communicative skills to receive this, to get this, to take action towards it. This is really beautiful energy. Like, this is this is beautiful energy. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, now. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Out of everybody, y'all, y'all got all the major arcanas, basically. Like, I, they, I've done the other signs. My God, this is about to be a very, very fulfilling, fulfilling new year for you. And your angels and your ancestors are so proud of you because you guys put in work this year. I'm, your judgment is happiness. Your judgment is coming in Scorpio energy. This is your judgment for redemption, for a rebirth, for an awakening, for that renewal in your energy, for Father God to say, here, this is yours. You have earned it. Literally, with judgment, this is, and you picking up the phone, hello, and Father God saying, listen, I need you to do this. You guys did this. Like, you guys listened. There, you were called to take action. You were called to action. You were called to purpose. It was something about an awakening that took place in your life and you guys embracing it. You guys could have even been fearful, like, yo, I don't know what's going to happen if I do this or what's going to happen if I take this action. 21, 21 on the time, but you guys forever have faith in Father God, which is why Father God is giving you everything that you want, plus more. You definitely have a relationship that's coming with the lover's card. You definitely have a divine relationship. Out of five cards, y'all, one, two, three, four, Four major arcanas. It's like major arcanas keep popping out for you. Heavy Scorpio energy. Gemini is here. This is about love. This is about choices. I could be talking to someone. Y'all could have a lot of suitors at this time. You could have a lot of people that want you, that want to be with you, that see you as a soulmate, that see you as a wife, that see you as a husband, that see you as someone that they should settle down with as a good investment, as a good partner. Okay, this is you having your pick. Okay, I can even be speaking to someone, you're you're in a connection at this time and you could be like questioning whether or not you want to stay in a relationship or stay in a connection or whether or not you want to embrace the new connections that Father God is bringing towards you. This is beautiful energy coming in, okay, literally, literally. And it's like, I'm hearing, don't be overwhelmed with all the love that's getting ready to come towards you, <laughs> okay? Someone here is a romantic, like they're a helpless romantic. They're going to be like surprising you with dinner. Okay, they're, they're the type of person that's going to bring you flowers just because of how beautiful you are. Blessings are literally all around you, and you're going to be seeing this, especially in your love life. This is also your love life, your spiritual life. You are receiving the blessings as above, so below. You put in enough work. You have accumulated enough good karma. Good karma, not bad karmic debt. This is good karmic debt that's getting ready to come towards you. It's like the more good that you have been doing and putting out there, and not only just working on yourself, but also giving that pure love to others, it's like it, it's going to come back. That's karma. That's universal law. It has to. So you, you have, even if you guys haven't seen it yet, it's here for you. It's coming. It is literally on the way, eight of wands. It's going to happen very rapidly, too. And it has to do with you being direct, you knowing what you want, and you being able to overcome obstacles, any type of strife. The Eight of Wands is also victory, being able to overcome, taking action in the right direction, forward movement. Success is yours. Literally, I am so proud of y'all. Like, I am so proud of y'all. What do they need to know? <laughs> Look at this. You are on the right path. Three, three, three. Your plans work. Your plans work. There was some type of plan that you may have wanted. It definitely worked. Okay, it worked. New love. Okay, for someone here, new love is, is already in your life. You could have already met this person. Okay, you could be already connecting to this person and you could be like questioning whether or not it, this is new love. It is. There is new love that has entered your life. And if it hasn't, it is. The letter L could be significant as well. Somebody here could be making it hard for you to move on from them. Somebody here wants to, they want to make it difficult for you to like move on to the next. This person has an STD or a sexually transmitted disease or demon. This could also be someone that has children or they could have tried to make children, like children are a factor. Like somebody here, either they wanted to have children with you or they could have children with someone else, but children were a factor in the connection. Yeah, somebody, their mind game, they, they failed. Someone's mind games did not work with you. Okay, this is an energy that I wanted you to put your guard down. 
Okay, so they could have been trying to play mind games with you. This could also be happening on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Something could be happening. So like today or tomorrow. You have here, yeah, the tables are turning. Somebody is pissed because they know this. Like literally two, two, two. You have new beginnings. You have the power to manifest with the universe. With God, tell Father God what you want. Because I see y'all want love. Y'all want success. Y'all want achievement. Y'all want money, wealth. Okay, that's here. What else you want? <laughs> what else? Tell Father God what else you want. What else you want? You want, a new, you want a new car? You want that big old castle on the hill? What, what you want? Like, literally, what do you want? It's time for you to go with the flow of love because you're embodying love at this time. And love is the strongest vibration. It's not jealousy. It's not hate. You are literally working out of the energy of love. Like, literally, you have blessings that are coming in from the divine. It's your time to receive these blessings, especially with money. Money, honey. You got that money, honey. You got that milk and honey, baby. Like, you got that milk and honey coming in. I know you do. I, I'm speaking to someone that knows how blessed they are. The number W could be, I mean, the the number. The letter W, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Yeah, again, you are on the right path. 333 three, three could be significant. 222 two, two could be significant. 333 three is also signifying, you know, you have ascendant masters around you. You have high-level angels, high-level archangels that are guiding you that they, they on guard for you. They don't play about you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they don't play about you. The divine realm don't play about you. Hope you know this. The letter A could be significant. Something could have happened in the fall as well. Somebody is taking a fall. Oh, shoot. Yeah, in the winter. They didn't want it to happen in the winter, but it's happening in the winter. Love is all around you. Okay, literally. Somebody here, like, return to sender is happening. Times 10. Whatever energy that somebody tried to send your way, they're, they're receiving that. I'm also seeing it. There you go, water sign. You're blessed. You're literally blessed. Yeah, somebody here. Yeah, somebody here wants you to unblock them, but it came out in the reverse. So keep this person blocked. You could block their, you could have had, you could have their like number blocked, social media blocked. Don't, mm -mm, don't entertain somebody that, that literally is not coming back for the best intentions. Yeah, full moon. Something happened around the full moon as well. Your angels and your ancestors are pissed out about, pissed off about what's going on. Somebody here could have tried to do like moon magic, full moon magic. Somebody here could like, they might, they like to do like spells around the full moon or somebody here likes to try to like attack you or do different things around the moon energy. It's not working. Somebody here could be realizing that as well. You do have a date night that's coming. I'm seeing here, yeah, somebody here could have tried to finger point on you. But the thing about with the finger pointing, one finger is pointing out, but with three fingers are pointing back at you. My mama used to always tell me this. When you point the finger at people, understand how many fingers are pointing back at you. So it's, it's something about that too. The the letter um, I could be significant, first, middle, or, nas or, first, middle or last initial. Yeah, 333 three, three is here again, y'all. 333 is here again. 333 is definitely significant to you. Not only are you on the right path, but you are balancing your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, your energy, your aura. A final decision definitely needs to be made. You have a lot of protection around you. Like You could be feeling this too. Somebody here wants to ask you out on a date. Love is all around you. Love is all around you. Somebody here could have tried to get you pregnant. It didn't work. Somebody here could have like wanted to attach to you because of your money or because of the wealth that you have. Yeah, and it's, it's supposed to be talking to like a karmic Aries. Let, somebody here is toxic. This could be a karmic Aries that you need to stay away from. The letter S could be significant as well. First, middle, or last initial. Yours or theirs. Yeah, you could definitely have Scorpio on your birth chart. Highly ask, well, I am talking to Scorpio. I'm talking about water signs. So, yeah, Scorpio, <laughs> you're coming through heavy with your energy. Anything else? That they need to know the water signs. Please and thank you. Anything else that the water signs need to know? Ooh. Okay. There is definitely somebody that's jealous. A jealous karmic could be in the mix of something or could be trying to stop you in different ways. They're going to get so much bad karma. Oh, my goodness. Somebody is not single. And the person that's not single does not have any type of spiritual protection around them. Four, four, four came out in the reverse. Somebody here is like, they could be trying to come toward you knowing that they're not single. This person's about to get hit with a spiritual ass whooping of their fucking lives. 29, 29 on the timer as I said this. Because this person don't have no protection. Not angelic protection. Not no spiritual protection. And damn sure not no ancestral protection. It's like this person has been abandoned and spiritually, like, they got people around them. And that don't mean the Ooh, what they can't see ain't fucking with them. And I don't mean to say it that way, but that's it's a strong energy. Like some somebody needs to know that. 
Okay, something could have happened on Tuesday. Somebody could be trying to plan something on Tuesday. Something could have happened in the summertime or you're getting ready to be in the energy of summer. Okay, it's going to be feeling like summer summer for you. Okay, you could also have fire in your birth chart. You could be connecting to a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Okay, yeah, don't be too quick to react to someone who's toxic. Okay, or who wants to try to like manipulate you? Yeah, the world is here. There's a brand new cycle coming in for you. You have a new beginning and it's because you've completed things in your life. There was a major completion that took place. Yeah, something could be happening on Tuesday or Wednesday. Or on Wednesday, somebody realized that their plans didn't work. Somebody here could have like realized that. They could have found that out. Whatever plans they had on Wednesday, it did not work. You were not affected or it failed. Somebody here is getting ready to experience a major fall. And this is like a fall from grace. Oh my goodness. Anything else that the water signs needs to know? Please and thank you. What's that? Somebody's brother is also involved as well. Okay, yeah, you have you. Okay, yeah, something could have happened in the springtime or you're springing forward, I'm seeing here. The letter K could be significant. The letter I could be significant. The letter B could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yeah, you dropped a third party. You're not dealing with third parties. It came out in the reverse. You're not, you're not into that. You're not doing it. It's over. It's a wrap. You have closed out cycles. You've learned certain lessons that had to do with third party situations. Somebody here could have wanted you to stay in the third party. That's not for you. That's not what's happening. Yeah. Mm -mm. Your ex, like they're going to be trying to come back towards you. Like your ex only wanted money. I'm seeing here as well. Somebody here could be lying and saying that they didn't want money or they didn't only want money from you. That's, uh, yeah. Somebody here could also be trying to use like sex to get you back. Sex magic. So be mindful of somebody wanting to sleep with you or trying to come back like really like acting like they're really passionate about you. It's because they want to attach. They want you to be attached to them, especially sexually. Three, two, one on the timer. As I said, this somebody is like a low ball energy. Yeah, you're getting ready to meet an emperor, a true emperor, a true boss. The letter, the letter D could be significant, first, middle, or last initial. Yeah, you're getting ready to win. You're about to be in your winning chapter, your winning season. Of life, you could be getting ready to get a new house, a new car, traveling, a new career, a new job, new money, and this is also real love coming towards you. This beautiful energy. Anything else? Yeah, they're saying nope, no, nothing else. <laughs> nope. He could be significant. A Libra could be significant as well. I'm also seeing here, yeah, somebody's friends and family were jealous of you. Okay, you could have, like, had someone that you consider to be a soulmate because it says your friends, um, it says your your D, your DM or DF's friends or family. So your divine masculine or divine feminine, you could have felt like somebody was your person. Their family and friends were jealous of you. Okay, they could have tried to, like, team up to take you down. That's why it's time for you to open your heart to new love. It's time for that. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you have no more delays, no more blocks, and no more holdups. That's not for you. Yeah. And strength could have been required in this situation. You even could have had to tell somebody no. Yeah, no. You told somebody no. And because you told somebody no, that's why new love is coming in. And right behind that, yes. <laughs> you could have had to tell somebody no, or you could have rejected something, or your spirit guide said something is just a no. And it was because you were meant to experience this new love of a lifetime that's coming in. Okay? You are extremely blessed and highly favored. Understand it. Don't ever forget it. Okay, let's get you. Let's see. What angels are protecting the water sign collective? What archangels or angels are protecting the ooh? Goddess Gaia is definitely protecting you, Mother Nature, the elements the provider. You guys are a true provider. You also are being provided for from God, from the universe. Mother Nature loves you, okay? You could be the type of person, water signs, you guys may like the rain. Well, I love rainy days. Like, you'd be like, you like rainy days? Yes, I'm a water sign. Like, <laughs> somebody here, like, you guys could be explaining why you like rain or why you like bath. You could be very clean, okay? Like, I mean, duh. You could like showers. You could like baths. 
You can like spas. You can like saunas. You can like sweat out toxins out of your body. Like you like to sweat. You could be the type of person that loves rainy days. You know, like you like that. You, I love rainy days because it's, and I love thunder because it, it like, it's like I'm hearing Father God. You know, rain reminds me of a cleansing energy, cleansing like Father God is cleansing the world so it could bring, so peace could come in, so new energy could come in. It's just, it feels great rainy days. Okay, so it's something about rain or you guys like truly like talking to mother nature, taking care of the trees. You know, you're not, you don't just kill bugs. If you see a spider, you don't just want to, you want to put it outside. Like you respect not mother nature, which is why mother nature, the universe, Father God respects you. You're being protected literally by the universe at this time. You have Mother Nature here, the provider. You are going to be forever provided for. You're going to be forever provided for, and it's because you give back and you provide. I'm seeing here with the elements as well. You also have Horus that's here. This is you having clear sight, clear intentions, and also you have a different way of seeing things. You can look at things from a higher perspective compared to other people. You're able to see things more deeply. Okay, you also, you're a water sign, so you feel things deeply. 35 could be significant as well as 31. 31 breaking down to a four with dancing, okay? Four for your foundation, your security. 31 breaking down to a four. 44 could be significant. That's all about protection. The number eight is all about money, wealth, abundance, divinity, okay? I, I don't even know if, if it's out here right now, but I could, I, I remember seeing the number eight. I don't even know. I thought I saw the number eight, y'all. But number eight is definitely significant to you. Somebody could be born in August or on the eighth. Okay, this is a lot of harmony coming towards you, divinity. Okay, it's like something is infinite for you. I believe I believe the number eight was here. Yeah, you guys also have Archangel. You have another Archangels love you. You have Archangel Jophiel. And she's bringing about joy. She's making you radiate. She's also, you're, you're an inspiration. Like literally, people could view you as being very happy, very joyous, very full of joy. Okay, this is also radiating. You guys are radiating not only beauty, but peace, harmony. You're very beautiful. You're very attractive. Okay, I'm also speaking to somebody here that you are inspiration to others or you're getting ready to gain the inspiration that you need. You guys may also like flowers. You could have like flower tattoos. Look at this. Oh, she got the sword tattooed on here. Oh, with fire. All right, now. So you guys look like a sweetheart energy, but don't get it twisted, okay? It's like you, you carry that sword. You guys are deadly, okay? In the spiritual realm, I'm speaking to somebody that's a warrior. You guys know how to fight with this truth, and the truth will forever, will forever be any type of toxicity of lies, deceit, deception. You already know. Whoever's working with the devil is already defeated. Why? Because the devil is a lost cause. Father God has a, is already, it's only a matter of time before Father God smites the devil. We already know this. Father God, it is nothing that the devil can do that Father God doesn't already know about. Okay, understand that any type of attack, people need to, uh, there's someone here that was being like attacked or that it's, it's, mm, somebody here, you guys could have went through some type of opposition, spiritual opposition. Father God was only building you up because he knew your heart space, how you were going to react was going to build more good karma towards you. So it's something about Father God, like allowing certain things to take place, especially in regards to like the um, certain attacks, not because you weren't protected, but it was not only it was to build your faith up in self, to build your faith up in Father God and also to build up your abundance in the spirit so that it can manifest down below. I bet your enemies are broke. Like. <laughs> Some somewhere here, you need to understand how blessed you are, and and it's time to laugh. Like <laughs> it's time to laugh. You have Archangel Azrael here. Death and rebirth. Scorpionic energy is deeply here. Okay, literally, you guys are going through a rebirth or renew. You about to look different. Something about you guys popping out. Like literally, there's a lot of transitions that are taking place. This is powerful life changes that are on the way. 14 breaking down to a five. You are truly blessed and highly favored. And it's because you know how to close out those cycles that do not align with you. The number nine is here. You guys know how to close out cycles. 31 breaking down to a four. 14 breaking down to a five. 45 could be significant. 54 could be significant as well as the number nine. This is three, four, five here. 21 breaking down to a three. 31 breaking down to a four. 
and 14, breaking down to a five. You are in true alignment. Don't ever doubt it. Three, four, five. That angel number could be significant to you as well. I love y'all so much. Happy New Year. We made it. We did it. Continue growing. Continue continue shining. Because you are a true star water sign. You are truly divine. I love you so much. And I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be with you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.